what's up gang thanks so much for tuning back into the channel today we are at Purtis Creek State Park I have honestly no idea where I'm at uh, we're about 110 miles southeast of Fort Worth and I passed through a lot of towns that I've never even heard of but it looks like we are actually 20 miles southeast ish of gun barrel city right only in texas you're gonna have a city named gun barrel city but this is where we're at folks uh i don't know if it's a reservoir i don't know if it's i i, I don't know what it is hopefully i'll be able to get my drone up here later this evening when that nasty sun goes down just a little bit because my drone will turn into a gummy bear it's so hot outside if i fly it right now but it's not a very big lake but the spot that i'm at i've got a ton of room um this is just, I don't know, I've never even heard of this state park. But it's uh, its intensely hot, as it has been for the past eight years, it seems like here. But folks, since it's been so hot outside recently, it's, I feel like I haven't been able to get a whole lot done outside, and it's been kind of boring. So I decided I'm going to start to do a couple of little experiments with my truck camper. And a lot of the questions that I get are, you know, with my AC unit, is, you know, I have to be somewhere with shore power. And yeah, kind of, that, that might be true, but I kind of wanted to prove to myself and to show you folks that you might not necessarily have to be plugged into shore power. And if you've been following along my channel for any, any time, you know that I have a lot of batteries and have a lot of power stations. So this trip, I brought a big power station, one of my Blue Eddies, and I'm gonna run my AC unit directly off of that, hopefully the entire night. So here's the setup for my AC unit. So right now, my AC unit is pulling 499, 500 watts. That's pretty small. I don't know if we'll be able to make that out. But what I have going on here is I've got the expansion, the B300 battery right here. And this is the AC200 Max. Now, I've had these for a while, and I've never really had a need for them. But I wanted to test this out to see if this would run my AC unit, my 5000 BTU AC unit. Uh, throughout the night because it's critical that it does now typically this little green cord I have here Goes from my truck to the power pedestal Well, obviously I have it plugged into the blue eddy here and the cool thing about this is I can sit in my truck and open up the blue eddy app and I can see How much juice I have left throughout the night, but between these two units right here This as I'm falling this b300 is a little over 3,000 watt hours and the AC200 max is a little over 2,000. So I've got 5,000 watt hours worth of juice, hopefully to keep that AC unit running throughout the night. So I thought it'd be a kind of fun little experiment to test out to see if, you know, you don't necessarily always have to be plugged into shore power. So that's gonna be for this video. Next couple of videos, I'm gonna bring some of my just big 12.8 volt batteries and use an inverter, just a standard little 2,000 watt inverter and see if that will run it because that setup's actually a little bit cheaper than that big guy back there but dripping sweat already it is Let's see if i can pull up my good weather app okay so it's 105 outside right now real feel is 110 degrees and the humidity is at 79 percent so it's it's nice and comfy out here right now <laughs> but it's been that way for oh my gosh i can't even remember last time it felt good outside but yeah gang so that's gonna be the setup for this little trip so i'm gonna get back in the camper and get some things sorted away and we'll see you in a little bit Okay, so the bugs are pretty bad out here, and you probably can't hear me right next to this AC, but this is that little, uh, kind of like a thermocell, but this actually just uses a battery. And this is, I think, from Flextail, but I used it a couple of videos ago, but I think I definitely need it here because the bugs seem to be pretty bad around here in all these trees. Luckily, I have a lot of trees because it's giving me quite a bit of shade, but we're gonna hang this up out here. All right, 
it. Come on. Max cool right now. Oh man. It can't just be me that's just praying for another snowmageddon. Just freeze me over. Eight sheets of ice on the ground everywhere. I would be so happy with right now. But uh, yeah. Just gonna kind of hang out in here right now until that sun gets down just a little bit. I got out here a lot later than normal. It's almost six o'clock. Took me about two and a half hours to get out here. And I had to go through Dallas during rush hour or outside of Dallas. And that's not fun. It makes me not ever want to come back here ever again. But hopefully we'll be able to get the drone up so I can kind of get a lay of the land and see what this place is because I don't really even know where I'm at or what this place is all about, but kind of got to get some things situated. Uh, so I got my movie snacks, Nanner, some plums, and avocado for dinner, peach, and my wife picked these up this week. And I've already had one. I've never heard of them, but they're called a donut peach. I don't know if you guys are, have ever heard of this thing, but this is like drinking peach juice. You bite into it. I probably can't eat it in here because you bite into it and it just... It's very, very juicy. Very good, but uh, I've never heard of them, so I thought they were kind of kind of cool looking. And they're good, so that's going to be uh, gonna be for dinner snack. Trash can... But while I'm sitting in here, let me make sure I can connect to that power station out there, that Blue Eddy, so we can... Because the last thing that I want to happen is that AC stop working. Okay, yeah, we're at 97% now, and that AC is now pulling 516 watts. I don't know if that's going to come through. But... With it being almost 6 o'clock, it's got to... That thing's got to, got to power that for quite a while, so... Fingers crossed it'll work. We'll hit the hardcore apple beer here at dinner. Well, folks, I got held up again watching one of these new Manhunt uh, Netflix series specials. This one's on the Olympic Park Bomber back in 1996. These little series are just awesome, but I thought I'd do something else kind of different today in this video because I, I have a lot of questions or I get a lot of questions on how how do I set up my drone how do I fly my drone how do I get these shots and I don't think I've ever showed you folks that because it's just kind of like b-roll footage but I'm gonna kind of walk you through how I set it up and then I'll show take off and we'll go around this lake but right now I use a DJI Mini 3 Pro and I think right now it's what the best you can get for the money um, I pay for this. This is not a sponsor for DJI, but it's a sweet little drone and it just packs up into absolutely nothing. And it's as simple as pulling out the legs, taking off this little gimbal cover. And this is what gets all the shots that you see on my videos, that tiny little camera right there. But to get it set up, actually, um, I don't have the fancy remote some of these new drones have an actual screen on it but I have to still use my phone doesn't bother me but typically when it's not so hot I'll stand outside and fly it but the last couple of videos I've actually hung out here in the truck and the reception doesn't seem to really be that bad I thought it would but but I'm still able to just to fly it I've gotten it around 5,000 feet away one time you know almost a mile but it, it, it works pretty well so that's the that's the remote setup and we're just going to cut this drone on. Lots of beeps are going to happen and the app's going to going to pop up and it'll tell me once it connects to the drone it'll say go fly. So it it found it. So I'm going to hit go fly and here is what the drone's seeing right now. So it's really, really simple, but obviously I can't take off in the truck. So I'm going to go find a spot outside, obviously where there's no trees, and lay it down. And it takes around two or three minutes for this drone to find all the satellites in the sky. 
Um, and typically at some of these state parks, it takes a little bit longer because we're so out in the middle of nowhere, but hopefully it'll work. So I'm gonna go step outside and throw this out there. Okay, so I'm now connected to 16 satellites, which is more than enough. So I'm going to hit record. We're going to take off and we're going to check out this lake. That's how I do my drone. But now I am really, really hungry. So we're gonna get dinner started outside. All right, so tonight we're just gonna be making a big old burrito. I don't know why, but that sounded the best to me over these last couple of days. And I wanted it last night, but I saved it for this trip. Just got some portion of some ground meat that I bought. Didn't eat all of it. Had to bring out my little bug keeper aware. I haven't noticed the bugs being quite as bad the last couple of weeks, but they're they're pretty bad out here right now. Those biting flies. So I picked up, I've never tried this. I'm kind of scared, but I got the original Taco Bell seasoning taco sauce. We're going to try it. Obviously, I don't need all of it for that little bit of meat. And you folks might get grossed out by this, but this is a little, uh, little secret that we do at home. Put a little bit of milk in the ground meat. I know, it sounds terrible. Really, it does make it good though, I promise. All right, now I'm gonna do, got some diced yellow onions. I'm gonna throw that in here. All right, folks, well, I actually brought some Rotel to throw in here, but I have just now realized I do not have a can opener. I don't know if this is going to work or not to open it up enough. but not least while this kind of simmers some slap your mama
little bit of cheese. And final touches, avocado. Super crazy easy. Now I just gotta figure out how to fold it up. All right, well, we are definitely gonna go eat this thing in the truck where I can actually enjoy it. Just being outside for 15 minutes, not very fun. Cheers. I left my cooler outside though. That's kind of like my little table. And I already put a hole in this thing, so <laughs> this could get real messy. That's a heck of a burrito. I don't know if I was just that hungry or if that really is that good. But it tastes good. Dude wipes. Never leave home without them. Mmm. I'm done. I know it's only like two more bites, but I just can't, I can't do it to myself. That was really good though. Super, super easy little meal. And, uh, and it tasted good. So <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get the stuff cleaned up and I gotta go find a dumpster because I don't know how the wildlife is here in this area. Or this part of Texas. I feel like I'm so far away from home. I don't know what they have out here. Luckily, I think that I see a dumpster within halfway decent walking distance. So they had a little fishing pier down here, and I guess here in this tiny little lake, you got largemouth, crappie, smallmouth, sunfish, black crappie, catfish, white bass, and blue catfish. And they got actually a really nice little cleaning station. Definitely doesn't look like a boat friendly little lake. Stumps everywhere. Kind of reminds me of Lake Fork. sweat literally drips down my eyeballs. But yeah, pretty nice little setup if, uh, come on here to fish. Looks nice.
clean enough until I get home. But I don't even know what time it is. I think it's around eight now. Let's check out, make sure I got enough juice. So I'm still at about 80% now. I think we're gonna make it through the night. And again, that's that's over 5,000 watt hours worth of uh, worth of battery. So with that AC pulling around 490 watts, we're gonna be close. But if it cuts off at three in the morning, I'm gonna have to wake up and hook this up to the power pedestal. Well. That sounds about close to setting, I believe, and that means it's about time for me to go back into the truck and soak up some of that wonderful air conditioning. But this is a really, really pretty little quaint lake. Very, very small. But all the, the grass around the lake is nice and manicured, it's mowed. The docks are really nice. That cleaning station, I haven't seen that at any park I've been to. But I'm pretty impressed with this tiny little getaway. I'm not impressed with the drive to get out here though. Well folks, I have uh, I gotten camp kind of put away and set up. Got myself a dude wipe bath, clean clothes on, and I'm about ready to head to bed. But I do want to check again that power station that's outside because I'd be lying to you if I would say that I'm not just a little bit worried that I'm going to get through the entire night. But luckily right now I'm at 65% battery and that compressor has just cut off. And it's only pulling 57 watts right now. Obviously when that compressor kicks on it'll go up to around 4, 450. But 65% so far tonight. Now it's been running for four hours, four and a half hours. So it's gonna be, we're gonna be cutting it close, gang. Um, I'm hoping that compressor doesn't kick on a lot, but anywho, uh, I thought it'd be a fun, fun little test, something different. But folks, if you stuck around this long, thanks so much. And we will, uh, we'll see you in the morning. I got the camera set up outside tonight for a time lapse, but I'm, I'm not too sure if we're gonna get anything. It got kind of cloudy. Toward, toward the end of the night. So I'm gonna enjoy my new Netflix series that I got quite a few more left to go. I got my donut peach and I'm gonna get cozied up and probably hit the hay here pretty quick. So folks, we will see you in the morning. Take care. made it through the night. Well, let me turn these lights on. It's going to be bright. Oh that thing's still running as my alarm goes off. Cut that off. Oh, is that going to focus? Down to 20%. So we guys, we made it over 12 hours off of that blue eddy out there. I did cut it down to local because it got pretty chilly in here last night. So that AC unit's only pulling 390 watts now. 
I'll be honest, I wasn't sure if it was going to make it through the night, but we did. Uh, it is coffee time, and I'm going to try to head out of here as soon as I can to beat some of that terrible Dallas traffic headed back west, back home. Yeah, I think it's around 6.30 in the morning. So that sun's not poking up quite yet, but they even had this little dock lit up all night. And there's a real trooper out there fishing already. But I don't even think there is a boat ramp here. I don't think this there's a boating lake. I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I haven't seen one boat out there. Nor have I seen a boat ramp. But anyway, man, it's dark. Nineteen percent. I know you probably can't see that, but that's super cool. So I did have to use these bags again last night because this parking spot that I'm on is so inclined that it would not have been a comfy sleep if I didn't have these. Or leveling blocks, but I think these are just as easy. Well gang, that's all she wrote. For this little episode thanks so much for tuning in and following along the channel and we'll be back at it again next week but again i'm going to try to head home now before i hit some of that massive terrible dallas traffic and it's 6 45 now so that'll put me through dallas right at around perfect time for morning rush hour <laughs> so i think i'm too late anyway but anyway folks we'll see you next week thanks for watching